Hey guys, it's Mr. AJ's Tech here, and today I'm going to show you how to jailbreak your iPhone 4S, or basically any device that runs iOS 6. Of course, I have my 4S in front of me, uh, so this is with the new Evasion jailbreak. Uh, so basically, this supports any device that runs iOS 6 up to 6.1. Some prerequisites would be that you have to take off your passcode on your device. You also have to make sure that you do not have an encrypted backup. And ultimately, if the jailbreak fails, you're going to have to go ahead and restore your device. And before putting all your stuff back on, you're going to need to go ahead and jailbreak before putting the stuff back on. Oftentimes when you update, uh, some things get messed up with the file system, and especially if you OTA update that's over the air, that means you did not plug your phone into the computer to update, that means that you are not going to have a good time uh, jailbreaking this because it will not work. Uh, so there's a lot of prerequisites like that. I will have everything in the description, but ultimately if the jailbreak fails, you plug it into the computer, and uh, if it's really bad, which is not really that bad, uh, you use the DFU mode restore, which is when you hold the power button and you wait uh, for the home button and you just plug it into iTunes and hit restore. Uh, after you finish that, you go through the setup and just don't restore from backup and then you jailbreak. Uh, so it's very important that you understand those simple diagnostic steps. Ultimately, if it does not work, you restore it and try it again. Uh, that's the ultimate diagnostics. Uh, there may be some bugs with evasion, but that it will guarantee you uh, a jailbreak. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and open up Evasion on your computer, Mac, Linux, or Windows. And uh, you're just going to go ahead and download this tool. Of course, mine goes right to that downloads folder. We're just going to go ahead and open that up. There is the Evasion tool. You have README and a changelog. So basically, you just open that up on Windows. You just extract all and then open it up. Uh, so right here, you can see that it just detects that my phone is a 4S. Uh, of course, that's iOS 6.1. And uh, yeah. So pretty much, you're just going to click jailbreak, and it's as simple as that. Uh, so there we have my phone. Of course, it's on 6.1 firmware. We're just going to click jailbreak, and now we just sit back and wait. Uh, the jailbreak process is fairly simple. Uh, so once you click jailbreak, you just wait, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and speed this up. During the jailbreak process, you're going to go ahead and go ahead and unlock your device. Once it says to, uh, to continue, please unlock your device. You're going to go ahead over to that app that says jailbreak. You're going to press it, and then it's going to crash, and then it's going to go ahead and finish up here. Uh, so it's pretty simple. Uh, that's the only thing you have to do. And uh, now you just wait for the rest of the process to finish. So once your device uh, went ahead and turned on, uh, pretty much you just slide to unlock and install Cydia or initialize Cydia. Uh, you basically just open it up, wait for that stuff to go through. It's going to respring, and uh, pretty much from there you have Cydia. Uh, so it's fairly simple jailbreak. Basically, it's click and jailbreak. Uh, if you have any issues, just go ahead and restore or leave a comment down below and do my best to help. But ultimately, the, uh, the trick to fixing any problems that you have is one, backing up before you do this, and then uh, two, basically just restoring uh, and then putting your stuff on later after you jailbreak. Uh, so that's basically everything I can tell you. Jailbreak is really simple uh, as of right now, uh, since the jailbreak was just released today. City is not working very well because there's a lot of people using it, of course. Um, but other than that, uh, the, this jailbreak works perfectly. I definitely recommend it, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.